go ahead and put our number eight round on. We're gonna mark where the mental foramina are as a guideline. This is a non-guided case, so we're freehanding the implants. Uh, not a big deal with our bar over denture scenario. These implants do not have to be in a specific location. We want a nice anterior posterior spread. So now, what we're going to do next, we're going to mark our, our foramen, as I just mentioned. And the way I do that is right here. You see the nerve coming out. There's the anterior border of the bundle, of the foramen, pardon me. So I'll just make a small little divot like that. So we'll do the same thing on this left side. We can see exactly where that bundle is. There's the anterior extent of that foramen. So we'll mark that. So now I can just eyeball where that mark is and this mark. And in essence, I will equally space our four implants uh, for the bar case. Now we'll begin osteotomy for the implants themselves. We're planning on three eight millimeter implants. So basically, there's our the anterior extent of our foramen. We're going to be about four or five millimeters anterior to that. And this is just a starter drill from Salvin. Just make sure that we're missing the anterior loop, that's all. And we'll do the same thing on this left side, about four or five millimeters anterior. And that protects any potential anterior loop, which I don't even look for anymore, although we do evaluate the mandible. Thank you.